Hello, this is Dr. Saurabh Patwadang from Nandadeep Eye Hospital and Quicko Training Center. In this commented video, I will be speaking about a case of total hyphema. This patient had blunt trauma three days back and he has history of uh, operated small incision cataract surgery a month back. At present, the IOP is controlled on maximum oral and topical medication. But as you can see, the hyphema is total and we have to wash it off to hasten the recovery. Because if you keep this kind of hyphema in the chamber for a long time, there is a high risk of corneal endothelial staining and that's going to give a very bad uh, prognosis or very bad vision in the long term. So I have decided to remove this hyphema. So we'll speak about what are the principles behind doing the hyphema removal or uh, hyphemectomy. That's what I call. So you can see that I have made one side port incision and injected little bit of OVD there just to check whether the it's a clot or there is some uh, liquefied blood but as you can see some part of the clot is liquefied. Whenever this clot forms over a period of seven days the liquefaction also starts and maximum liquefaction starts uh, between seven to ten day but if you keep this kind of clot in the anterior chamber it is going to give rise to long-term complications so it's best to remove it. So what I'm going to do first is just wash off the liquefied blood here by using a Simcoe cannula. And important thing here is not to pull on any of these clots. Try to avoid pulling any of these clots because unless they are free clots, what happens is that if you try to pull it from the place where they are adherent, that is the place from which the bleeding has occurred. So it might be having that bleeder still there. And if you pull it off from that place, it will bleed again and uh, it will lead to secondary bleeding. So this Simco is just to wash off the free clots which are there and uh, not trying to remove the clot from the angle. So uh, I'm just washing it off very carefully, gently just the liquefied part of the blood and once it is done i have to uh, remove the remaining clot by using the vitrectomy probe uh, with vitrectomy probe i use a moderate cut rate say around 300 to 500 and i'll be using low vacuum not very high vacuum to avoid any injury to the iris i am keeping the port or the opening of the vitrectomy probe towards the cornea so as to avoid injury to the iris and I am cutting off the uh, hyphema or the clot without pulling it from the angles from where it has bled. So the idea is to debulk this clot as much as possible and little bit of clot which uh, stays adherent to the angle we can let it stay it will get absorbed over a period of time. And during this procedure, I just noted that there was some membranous kind of structure, which I thought that maybe whether it is vitreous or something else, but I realized that it was the remaining cortex. So the cortex had remained in the first surgery. So probably that was there. So I just aspirated out using the vitrectomy probe there. So avoid overzealous uh, removal of the clot. I think that's the take home message here and also use the vitrectomy probe uh, for removing uh, the organized blood or the clot rather than trying to use the simco to uh, remove the clot and uh, this is just i am washing off some blood which i thought had gone into the bag so i just uh, washed it off and again i am trying to trim off the clot which is visible The remaining clot which is adherent it will liquefy over a period of next 7 to 10 days and will get absorbed. So we have to continue the anti-glaucoma medication, steroids and cycloplegics to minimize the inflammation and raised IOP in the post-operative period. But uh, it will eventually settle down and uh, the patient will have good vision afterwards. Thank you so much for watching this and uh, that's how we manage total hyphema.
for more videos do watch my youtube channel and subscribe to it you can send your own videos to our website recruitmentning.org.in and we'll edit and publish it on our website thank you so much